cauliflower. What is that? Oh, Riding here really needs a lot of attention and a lot of focus. You know, they'll get you spoons if you want. No, it's part of the video. I need to be authentic. My first time eating with my hands, sorry. I can already see the comments you guys are leaving. <laughs> hey, wow, photo. Photo, eh? arrived at the Humpy area. Huge boulders all around, rice, rice plantations, what are you, rice fields? Look at that. We're, we're searching for a hotel. Uh, how far is it? This whole area is beautiful. There's Sana found a hotel room over there, we're gonna... Vishal just joined, he came, he rode this whole, uh, directly from Goa the whole time by himself, about eight, nine hours, and met up with us over here. Super Meteor 650, that's uh, Royal Enfield's new bike. A cruiser bike. They took the Interceptor 650's engine, put it on a new frame with uh, forward controls and a pullback handlebar, really comfortable cruising position. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. Oh, we just got in. And they have rooms over here. Wow. We just pulled in, and the sun, wow, oh, there it is. Damn. Wow. There's the Yofi, eh? There's the Yofi, eh? Found a spot for the night. It's gonna be beautiful over here. Nature, look at these guys. We're gonna close the day with a great food again. Sweating the hell out. What you guys get? All the best stuff. Alu gobi. Oh, Alu gobi. Oh, now you have your pole Which means potato with uh, cauliflower. Yeah. Cauliflower. Okay, cauliflower. What is that? Some paneer butter masala. So that's paneer. The, the, the cheese. And cheese with um, butter squash. And that's chicken. Chicken, that's for me. That's dal. And dal. Dal. And rice. This, uh, plain rice and that's curd rice. Curd rice. Good morning. 6 30 in the morning here let me show you the basic basic room we would call it a bungalow okay it's very basic uh, a bathroom over here that's my shower the bucket cold water that's how it is let's see what's outside Wild. The jungle right here. It's not a jungle, but banana plantation right there. Let me go brush my go brush my teeth. All you hear is wildlife, not not one uh, sign of civilization. <laughs> Oh, there he came. Oh my God. They're happy, look how happy they are. Hey. Hey. Hey, doggy. Yeah, you come. <laughs> you too.
Some morning goodness. We're heading off to see the temples, the shrines in the Humpy. Stay local today. Ride this whole area, beautiful area. It's around uh, 20 degrees Celsius now. Look at the scenery around. And hey, morning, girls. Whenever, whenever you pass, you need to use your horn, letting him know that he's coming, you're coming through. Riding here really needs a lot of attention and a lot of focus. Traffic is crazy. It's not, it's not high speeds over here, but it's, it's the rules of the, the rule of the jungle. Wow, look at these massive boulders. Oh my God. I mean, look at these boulders and the structure over there of boulders. How did it even get there? Now look at the boulders over there. Over there. Crossing the river now. Yeah, amazing. Amazing. Look at that. Amazing. Unbelievable. Simply amazing. Moving the camera I went around from one place to the other. Riding with one hand, that's stupid as well, but a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. <laughs> Need delivery service for your 43 inch uh, TV? There you go. Sony TV, 43 delivered directly to your house. We're entering one of the one of the shrines, one of the temple temple areas. Very very old temple. Explanation will be written there. Oh, okay. Stone doors. You think people built them or aliens? Yeah, of course. It's aliens. Oh, come on, stop. They're making fun of me because I told them my UFO story. There's temples, uh, I forgot where around the world, that there's no way uh, when they were built that they were able to lift the, the sizes of those stones and a perfect fit. Dude, look, look at the lines. Look at the line over here. This was the king's structure. That's the flat thing, I don't know. The party place? Yeah. <laughs> Royal palace of this kingdom. It was a whole uh, community here. There was yeah. everything. The kingdom here, in the whole area of Humpy. It's a water reservoir that fills up from rain, from monsoon yeah. rains. The aqueducts have been around for like. All right. Honey, shut the door. No way. <laughs> you shut the front door. Hello. Hello, girls. Look at these rocks. Look at these boulders. Ah, nice twisties. Slow speed, but uh, really windy. We can go on the motorcycle up to the temple and even inside mango tree. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm the main temple of Hampi. What's up? Just don't grab my camera. No, I'm not gonna do anything.
funny how nobody here is excited or gets or even looks at the monkeys and for me it's like so cool and interesting <laughs> no literally like i didn't sleep yeah, but we live with them i know like our squirrels are then your, she are found your out monkeys that actually the monkey is not in the house but what a trauma man. your monkeys is our squirrels that's what it is yeah <laughs> look at this guy washing his bike over there in, in the river <laughs> Bike in. <laughs> I ain't enough. I need to take my bike in and wash it. <laughs> the plates are going to be banana, banana leaves. I want with a hard look. <laughs> today is Valentine's Day. That's our plate. My wife is all by herself. It is? Is it today Valentine's today, Day? Today, but you don't know, you didn't send nah, my daughter. I don't do Valentine's Day. <laughs> and there won't be any left there. <laughs> What is spicy yeah. beer, guys? You make sure you let me know before, okay? That's spicy. I thought it looked like it looks spicy. <laughs> Zamba. 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 The beginning or at the end? Somewhere. At the end. At the end. Same thing. No, no cutlery. Use our clean hands, right? Wash our hands. There. You go. This is too hot, you said? Yeah, they'll get you spoons if you want. No, nah, it's part of the video. I need to be authentic. Oh, <laughs> okay. Should we show you the real stuff then? Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> this is my first time eating with my hands, sorry. Rice. I can already see the comments you guys are leaving. <laughs> this is too hot. This is real. This is the city of temples. We're on our way to another temple. The climb all the way up there. Hopefully we get there by sunset. The way it looks like we'll be there by sunrise. Okay, we're not even 2% uh, We just started the first First six steps. <laughs> there is a few hundreds of them. Namaste. Hi, namaste. <laughs> Hundred degrees. It's my Kevlar cargo pants and Indy Ridge boots. You dress for the slide, not yeah, for the ride. Steps done. <laughs> oh, look at that. You can actually start seeing the top. The end. Now, my friends, the end is near. Very steep. Holy shit. It's <sighs> what is the chant praising the god. Um, Hey, wow, Five seventy-five. Hanuman, Hanuman Temple. Hanuman is uh, the god, god of monkeys.
Crazy, huh? Crazy. What's up, buddy? What's up? <laughs> he was going for my whatever's in my bag. <laughs> he went into the bag itself, my bag, and was about to take out something. <laughs> Superman. <laughs> Look, Nadal. Look, it's you. I'm not doing. I'm not scared. I'm not doing anything to you. Go about eating your pita. Going down. Going down is all, so much easier. <laughs> so cute, cute. Great, great day at the at the temples. camp I'll catch you at dinner it's 5 30 in the morning I have to leave early about eight hours in the saddle today to get back to Goa because tonight is my flight back to the States a lot of riding to do highway miles and the journey begins So and I was so ducking, I ducking my, my head like that.
lot of bugs this morning. Dirty enough or not? Back, back where we started. 1,300 kilometers on the bike. Been on it for, yeah, 1,296 kilometers. In miles, it's this. And... Uh, <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is my family in Goa. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, and let me take the stuff off and I'll talk to you more. I think I have a good... Uh, understanding what this bike is all about let me just unload everything so we're back back in anjuna uh it was a nine actually it was a 10 hour ride today the bike did for the last uh week been with the bike 1300 kilometers the bike was a champ it ran beautifully the engine is really good i love the low end torque of it it chugs the whole time third fourth gear uh, in the villages between these bumps no need to drop gears because it really chugs at low rpm horsepower the uh, the actual figure is right here and i was able to hit 134 that's the max speed full throttle almost red line i didn't have enough uh road to go but i hit 134 kilometers per hour suspension on it is uh, adequate it did it it sucked up the bumps pretty nicely. I only bottomed a few times and that was because me coming too hot, too fast to these aggressive, aggressive bumps. Riding position on it is extremely comfortable. Riding position on it is a uh, nice, nice comfortable triangle. My, uh, my feet below, kind of below my ass, not too stretched forward and not back and easy to get up and stand if needed. Handlebars are really nice. They're not, there's a small, small rise to them and a pullback, so you're sitting nice and comfortable. Air cooled and oil, oil cooled with this uh, radiator in front. The sounds is nice, very nice. I love the sound of this bike. Although it's a thumper, the sound itself is really, really uh, nice and it resembles the, the Harley frequency i would say love the rims limbs rims are really nice braking on it is good it's just what you need because uh it's got a huge rotor in the front single rotor 
and brakes are uh, by Brembo by Bray. It's a, um, a sister company for Brembo. Handling on it was really good. I took it off-road, on-road, in really, really rough conditions. And uh, the handling on it is, it's a nimble bike, and at the, the higher speeds, it, it holds the line. It held the lines really nice, and during a turn, it just stayed whatever uh, lean angle I put it on. It didn't want to pull, drop down, it didn't want to pull up. So that is nicely balanced as well. What else can I say? That's a very utilitarian bike. Perfect, perfect, perfect as a first, a first bike for anybody, I think in America, if, uh, I would definitely get this bike for my daughter as a new, as a new rider, and I would get this one in America for myself as a second bike. Any ride around 100 miles a day, maybe 200 miles a day, it's it, absolutely perfect for that. Any trip between three to four hours in the saddle, this bike is absolutely uh, made for that. All in all, this bike is really nice. I really enjoyed it and it held up to the task, this great adventure that we had the last uh, week. Now, all I have to do is to work on getting it back to the States. Uh, I'll update you and tell you how the progress is going with the bike, with uh, importing it and stuff like that. Guys, hope you enjoy this one. I'm Sandy from Goa, India. This was the Harley Davidson X440. I'm Sandy till the next video. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching Holy Shift till the next video, guys. Peace out.